A fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver. The Lone Ranger. After the Mexican War, the great Southwest Territory was ceded by Spain to the United States. But the peace treaty that closed the war brought no peace to the border. For generations, the Spaniards south of the Rio Grande and the Texans to the north remained enemies. It was the masked rider of the plains who finally made friendship possible between them. Outlaws from Texas who raided the Mexican haciendas and bandits from Mexico who rustled Texas cattle caused most of the trouble. And when the masked man brought them to justice, the way was open for a better understanding between the honest men of both countries. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come along, Silver. We're heading south for the Rio Grande. Outlaws are near the border. Hello, Silver. How are you? The Rancho Sanchez property of old Don Diego Sanchez was famous for the splendid horses it raised. Horses, however, which were inevitably a temptation to rustlers. At the time our story opens, Don Diego's animals had been disappearing a dozen or so at a time for more than a month. To prevent more being stolen and to catch the thieves, he called his son Antonio and several of his men together. We see them now in front of Don Diego's home. Pablo. Si, senor. Tonight, Pablo, with men of your choosing, you will ride to the west. There you will keep watch over all that part of the rancho which lies between the Rio Blanco and the Rio Grande. I will do so, senor. If you discover the thieves, you will send one of your men to me with the alarm. You and the others will attempt to hold them. You understand? Si. Then go at once. Choose what men you will. Senor, no horses will be stolen where me, Pablo, keep watch. That I swear. <laughs> Adios. Jose. We have orders from me, senor. You'll keep watch over our boundaries to the south. I'll give you the same orders I've given Pablo. Be on your way. I go, senor. Yeah. And you, Manuel, the boundaries to the east, I trust to you. Take a dozen men and be gone. And let no thief get by you. They will not, senor. And me, father? The same, my son. To you, I give the hardest task of all. You will guard our boundaries to the north, where the gringos are. Uh, father, there are better men than I am for that. Men who know the country. And it is time you learned it. Have you gone soft while you've been to school with the Yankees? Oh, that is not true. I've been wondering. Yes? I sent you far to the east to school because I could not then afford to send you to the old country where I and my father before me were taught. But perhaps it was a mistake. A mistake? I never thought that Sanchez would learn to like the gringos. But you had done so. Father, there are many fine men among them. All gringos are cards and thieves. They've stolen our land, our home, our cattle, our horses. They have outlaws, Father. But so have we among our people. That is different. But is it? My son, you say you do not wish to keep guard. Is it because the thieves might be men from the north? No. Someday the time will come when all this land of ours, this hacienda, will be yours. But first you must prove you deserve it. I only ask, Father, 
that tonight you do not send me. You will go. But father... I said you will go. Yes, father. And if a horse is stolen while you keep guard, you will answer for it the same as any other. I leave now, father. Adios, my son. Adios. But that night, in spite of old Don Diego's precautions, a band of men crossed the Rio Grande where it was shallow and rode to the boundary of the Diego Hacienda. A solitary horseman was standing guard. Is that him, Dirk? Sure it is. Hey, Tony! Dirk? Who else do you expect? You are up. Pull up, fellas! (laughs) And don't you go to call a name, young fella. It'll pay you to treat us real polite. I'd like nothing better than... Sure, I savvy. And to drill me. But try that on just once, mister. And that old man of yours that thinks he's so high and mighty... He's liable to learn something about you he wouldn't like. I don't know. Maybe I should have told him. You got hitched to Molly Gardner while you and her were both going to school at the same time? (laughs) He'd hit the ceiling so hard he'd go through it. He might take it all right. Look here, Tony. There ain't a man among us your Paul likes, good or bad. But the one he hates most is Molly's Paul. Yes. And if he even suspicioned the two of you was hitched, he'd kick you out of the family so fast your head would swim. You came for the horses? Of course. Where about say that? Down in that arroyo. But you'll have to hurry. Where's the fellas your pa sent out with you to keep guard? I got rid of them. Told them to ride toward the crossing. But they'll be coming back soon. Sam. Yeah. Take the fellas and round them horses up. Get them across the Rio Pronto. Sure. Come on, fellas. Get up there. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Dirk. Yeah? These are the last horses you are getting. Huh? That's what I said. I can't do any more. Stealing from my own father. Just to keep you from talking. Oh, so that's the way it is, huh? Losing your nerve? I just can't do any more, Dirk. I can't. You'd rather your ball was told about things? I... You'd rather lose this ranch you're going to get sometime? You'd rather take Molly and earn your living punching cows for 40 and pounds? It wouldn't be that bad. Ah, now, look here. Don't be a fool. Do like I say, and you'll stay on good terms with your Paul. Ain't that so? Yes. And if you keep working at him, maybe one of these days you'll get him to look at things your way. Maybe you can fix it so he won't be so sore about you getting hitched to Molly. That's what I've been hoping for. If you ever get him to agree with you, then I'll stand out of your way. I see. But if between now, you don't do like I say, then by thunder, your paw will learn about you and Molly, and you'll wish you hadn't ever crossed me. I don't seem to have much choice. <laughs> now you're getting smart. You're blamed right you haven't any choice. Sam, are you coming? We're all set. You ready? Get them horses started and I'll be right with you. We're on our way. Come on, boys. I'm Tony. Yes? Anytime you begin changing your mind again, you recollect what I just told you. I I guess. (laughs) The next time I'm wanting horses, I'll be seeing you. Get up there. Get up. Oh, Silver. Oh, boy. Oh, there. What you find out? I learned more than I'd expected to, Tonto. Isn't that good? You were right when you suspected that Don Diego's son had something to do with the horse stealing. But I learned that he's helping the outlaws against his will. How was that? You know Jim Gardner? Oh, uh, Tonto know him. Daughter Molly was sent away to school in the East. And while she was there, she must have met Don Diego's son. Oh. And now they're married. Isn't that bad? It is bad, Tonto. It means a dangerous situation. Men like Don Diego are proud, too proud. Isn't that right? They think that the Yankees are below them. Don Diego should learn of his son's marriage. It's hard to tell what might happen. Who steal horse? Dirk Spade and his gang. Somehow they've learned about the marriage and are using that to make Tony Sanchez follow their orders. What you do? I'm not sure yet, Tonto. We'll turn in now and think about it overnight. And tomorrow we'll see what we can do. But the masked man was not the only one considering the problem. All night long, young Antonio Sanchez fought a battle between his conscience and fear of his father's anger. In the morning, when he returned to the ranch with his men, he avoided his father. But several hours later, his decision made, he went to Don Diego. At that moment, Jose burst into the house. Senor! What is it, Jose? Ten horses have been stole. Tell the best. Oh, but why not? I ride to the north, senor. Then I follow the Rio Grande, and there I see the tracks. And the tracks? Lead to the north. Gringo stole the horses. I return. I count the horses there, and ten are gone. Antonio. Yes, father. That is why you kept guard. You have failed I... me. Jose, get men. See if you can follow the trail of those gringos. 
When you find them, get those horses back. Si, senor. We follow at once. Oh, last night you stood guard and you saw nothing. Wait. The men who work for me for pay protect my property. But my son, my own son, you who should be better than them all, you fail me. It is my fault. You admit it? Listen, I have something to tell you. What can you have to tell me except that you did not see the thieves? But I did. What? Father, listen to me. Try to understand. You say you saw the thieves, but let them escape? And then you ask me to understand? But there is more than that. Yes? I did something for which you will be very angry. Go on. When I was gone at school, I met someone. Ah, you met someone? And this someone? She is... Columba! This someone was a woman. A woman of the gringos? Yes, father. Now I understand. She was older than you. You made a fool of yourself. You... No, no, not that. Well, then? She is the girl you know. I fell in love with her. I still love her. I... I married her. You what? It is so. I've been afraid to tell you. I've been a coward. And because I've been a coward, your horses have been stolen. But... But I am afraid no longer. This is too much. I do not understand. You fall in love with the gringo. My horses are stolen. You are afraid. Diablo, of what are you talking? Father... Certain men found out about my marriage. They they threatened to tell you if I did not help them take the horses. I have told you I was afraid, and so... And so you turned thief? I got nothing for it. It was only to keep you from knowing. A thief, a Sanchez, was married a gringo. Get out! Father. Get out! This is your home no longer. I am not your father. You are not my son. I shall forget that you ever have been. But wait, listen, won't you? Out! But... And if you return, I myself will take the whip to you. Very well. <sighs> Such as you should bear my name. I have not been a thief, but I have helped thieves. And for that, I ask your pardon. But you refuse because of my wife. And for that, I shall never pardon you. Leaving the Rancho Sanchez, the young man rode swiftly to his wife's home. We see him with Molly that evening in the gardener living room. Your father, he will not be back soon. He's in town on business. He won't be back till late. Oh, Tony, what are we going to do? You need not fear. I am your husband, am I not? I shall tell your father we are married, and then you and I shall leave together. I, I think father will look at it reasonably. Of course. But your father, he'll make trouble. Listen, I've kept track of what has been stolen from him. I know what he has lost to the very penny. But, Tony... I shall get work. I shall save. And he will be repaid, all of it. But, Tony, you don't understand. It isn't that. It's... Oh, it's simply that he'll blame Father for our marriage and... and he that... can't do that. But I'm afraid. There is nothing to fear. We were... Oh! Mask! Don't move. Who are... Tony, you know where Dirk's hideout is? I do, but... And you? I... Tony told me and I... Tony, I'm giving you a warning. Who are you? What do you want? Don't go near that hideout. Dirk won't stand for us. You're one of his men. Perhaps. But Tony wouldn't go there. Would he if he thought Dirk was planning something against Don Diego? What's that? I'll just repeat my warning. Don't interfere. Why, Don't draw. You're covered. So Dirk found out about the quarrel between my father and me. What do you think? And now he knows he can't give me orders anymore. I won't discuss that. So he's trying to frighten me. He's probably planning to steal more horses. He's afraid I'll spoil his plans. I'm just here to tell you what not to do. You've had your warning and that's enough. He's trying to frighten me, a Sanchez. But Tony, you're not going. I am. No. Dirk's a fool. He doesn't understand my people. He ordered me to stay away. If he wanted me there, he couldn't have chosen a surer way to bring me. The curtain falls on the first act of our thrilling Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Now to continue our story. When the Lone Ranger told young Sanchez to stay away from Dirk Spade's hideout, the young man vowed he'd go in spite of the masked man's warning. But tell me, they might kill you. You ask me to stand by while they rob my father? I did that before, but that's in the past now. Please, listen to me. There'll be no danger, Molly. But I... I won't let them see me. I'll just go close enough to learn what they're planning. Oh, Tony, if you'll only listen. I owe my father this, Molly. 
Don't try to stop me. You promise me you'll be careful. Of course. It's not far. I'll be back before you know it. Oh, well, if anything should happen to you. But what can? Adios. I'll, I'll be waiting for you, Tony. And I'll be back. Never fear. Steady. Yep. Adios. I knew I wasn't mistaken in him, Tonto. Mm. He's proud like all of his people. When he thought he was threatened, he reacted just as I expected. Not good. I didn't tell him that Dirk had told him to stay away. I didn't say that Dirk was really plotting against his father. But he thought I did. Mm, that's plenty clever. Now it's up to us to see that he comes to no harm, Tonto. Let's get to the horses. Me watch him. him. He'll lead us to the camp. Oh. Yep, yep. And then I'll have a lot of riding to do. But Silver can make it. Not right. Get him up, Scout. Hail, Silver! Away! Young Sanchez approached as closely to the outlaw camp as he dared. Then, finding cover out of range of the glow of the campfire, he tried to overhear the rustlers talk and learn the details of their plot against his father. But although he waited patiently, the subject was not mentioned. It's funny they don't say anything about it. I've got to find out. What was that? I thought I heard... You stand up. What? He got done. You stand up. You sneaked up on uh, me. No. You walk. That way. You're part of the gang. You walk. I'm going. Here, fella. What in It's Tony with a wrench and hold the gun on him. We find this fella back there. Him hear what you say. Me get him. You? What's that? Him hide there in grass. Me find him. He was hiding there, Injun. Huh? So where in thunder did you come from, Redskin? Me hear about you. Me ride this way. Huh? You heard about it? Huh? <laughs> well, I'll be doggone. I bet the Injun wanted to join up. That's right. But look here, Injun. How'd you find this camp? Me follow sign. <laughs> Trust a redskin to read trail. I'll well, we see about you later. What I want to know is what Tony was doing here. You know why I came. Huh? Or you should know. Sending the masked man to warn me away. You should know I don't frighten that easily. What's he talking about, boss? Don't ask me, Limpy. You claim you didn't send him? Send who? The masked man that said you were plotting against my father. The masked man you sent to tell me you wouldn't stand for any interference. Are you loco? I suppose you'll claim you weren't planning to steal more horses. Maybe we was and maybe we wasn't. But what's that got to do with a masked fellow we never even heard of? But I was sure. Sure of what? From what he said, I was certain he came from you. That you were planning something. Mm, it sounds mighty funny to me. I'll be going. Oh, no, you don't. But I... You'll stay right here and you will answer some questions. Just how did you savvy where this camp was? I followed you one night. Figuring that if the time ever come, I didn't have anything on you anymore, you'd know where to send the law after me, is that it? No, it wasn't. Ah, that. don't lie to me. I happen to know I ain't got nothing on you now. I heard about you and your paw. Then the masked man did come from you. I tell you, I don't know anything about a masked hombre. But I do know there's nothing that would suit you better than to get even with me for making you help steal your paw's horses. And that's just why you come here. And someday I will get even. Yeah? anyone else know about this camp? Did you ever tell Molly about it? No. If you did... She doesn't know, I tell you. It'll be blamed unlucky for her if she does. Now you're staying here till I figure out what to do with you. Injun. Uh. Seems to me we owe you some thanks for finding the polecat for us. Mm, that's all right. Uh-huh. But don't get the idea that because you've done us a good turn, we're taking it your own word. Before you join up with our gang, we're going to find out some things about you. Mm. And don't you try to get away either. We're guarding the two of you till we find out what's what. The Lone Ranger, watching Tonto enter the outlaw's camp, raced back to the Gardner Ranch where Molly was waiting for her husband to return. You again? Your husband refused to take my warning. How did you know? Because he refused. Right now he's a prisoner in Dirk's camp. Oh, no. I hope you'll have the good sense to take my warning. You admitted your husband told you where the camp is. I... Well, don't try to help him. The law... The law can't help you. The sheriff's out of town. By the time you rode there and back, it might be too late. What are you going to do with him? What it isn't you... what I'll do with him. It's what Dirk will. Dirk. I've said enough. Stay here and you'll stay out of danger. I've told you what's happened to your husband. Don't run the same risk yourself. Oh, Tony. Tony, I... I've got to do something. Father won't be home and it's too far to town. Come on, Silver! The man's been. He's gone. Oh, Tony, a prisoner. I, I've got to help him. My horse is 
rattled the map. Men won't know. Wait, a gun. There's one on the table. There. Even if I can't help him, I'd rather face it with him than wait alone, knowing he's in danger. Stand still there. Get up there. Get along. Come to talk to you, Don Diego. Careful. Manuel, Jose, Pablo, come here. Don Diego, those men attack me. Your son may die. I have no son. That's your pride talking, Don Diego. I have You've no disowned son. him. You sent him away. All because of that same foolish, obstinate pride. I will fix him, senior. I... The next man that draws on me will get the same. Stand back. You, you shot the gun from his hand. You've got to listen to me, Don Diego. Your son is a prisoner of Dirk Spade. Dirk is a thief. The same thief who's been stealing your horses. Because Tony thought they were planning another raid on your rancho, he went there to stop them. That is not true. If they stole my horses, then they are my son's friends. They aren't his friends. He helped them steal from me his father. He married a gringo woman. He is no longer a Sanchez. He has disgraced our name. Your own words show why he helped them steal. He married the woman he loved. But knowing your blind prejudice, he was afraid to tell you. Prejudice? <laughs> All gringos are worthless. And so, because of your pride and your temper, you'll do nothing to save your son from Dirk? He is not my son, I tell you. He can go his own way. I have nothing to do then with him. And if you won't I... go willingly, you'll go by force. Oh, please, 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 let me go. Get back. This gun is aimed at your master. Get back or I'll pull the trigger. Now, Don Diego, up for you. Stop your fault. Come on, Silver. Can we pay for this, senor? My men, they will follow. They'll follow? Don Diego, that's just what I want them to do. I know Silver. How I've been thinking, Tony. Yes? Even if your paw did kick you out, Maybe you can still be of some use to me. You want me to help you? Well, you could be handy in a lot of ways. And you might do worse than throw in with us. Why, you... Now don't fly off the handle. Just look at it this way. Your paw's all through with you, ain't he? And what if he is? Well, you've got to make a living. And we don't do so bad. I am no outlaw. <laughs> you've acted mighty like one at times. Or have you forgot about helping us steal them horses? You know why I did that. You made me. Sure, I made you. Now, here's what I was thinking. Your paw's rancho covers a lot of ground, and he's got all kinds of horses. What's more, you know everybody working for him. And most likely, you savvy lots of things about them. What are you getting at? Just this. Knowing all them things, it'd be a heap easier for you to steal the horses than me. And you'd be able to pick out the best. You're really asking me to steal from my father? Made myself clear, didn't I? Now, why don't Here's you... my answer. You! You had that coming, Dirk. And more just like it. I was going to be easy on you. But now I'll make you wish you'd never been born. Get a hold of him, fellas. No, let him go. Molly. Well, I'll be. So she didn't know where this hideout was, huh? She got guns. Don't you dare harm Tony. I'll... You not shoot me. Take guns from you. Let go that gun. There. Now we got him. Good work, Injun. Molly, you could not have come here. Tony, I had to. You men can't hurt Tony. Let him go. He won't turn you over to the law. I promise you, you have my word. Please don't. Dirk, what in blaze are we to do with her? We've got to get rid of both of them before they tell anybody else about us. Yeah, and maybe they have already. If they know about this place, maybe a dozen others do too. Then we've got to clear out. After we've showed these two what it means to come meddling in our business. What are you going to do? You'll see. Grab Tony. I'll take care of him first. You can't. You can't. Let him go. I'll stay in his place. I'll do anything. There, I'll... Molly. Don't let them frighten you. Oh, Tony, if they harm you... They won't. The mask man. Oh, surround us. Diego. Over there, the horses they have stolen. Father. Don Diego, fight it off. Drill them. There's a gun covering every man here. Make a break for it, and Don Diego's men will drop you before you can draw. I give up. Don't you? Bless you. It would give me pleasure to shoot. If you wish to fight. I, I ain't putting up no fight. But, Father... Where did you come from? I thought that... Tony, I think your father understands things better now. <laughs> the mask man, he bring me here. He talked to me, but at first I, I would not listen. But then, when I watched you, my son, and heard... You heard everything? Everything. 
Why you refuse to help these thieves? Oh. And more. Uh, this wife of yours tried to protect you. Because I love your son, Don Diego. You have the courage of a Sanchez. You mean... It will give me pride to welcome her into our family. But I do not understand. The masked man, he was working for Dirk. And then he brought you here. I, too, find many things in this I do not understand. But, Father, I... But I am content to thank the masked man for the more important things he taught me to understand in their place. That is enough. And, Father... If it means you've forgiven me, that you'll welcome my wife, then it's enough for me, too. The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.